Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. This time, it's a get ready with me video. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. Um, majority of the products that I'm using, it's my first time using them, so this is kinda be like something like a first impression. Um, I'll let you know how I feel about it throughout the video. So first I start off with chapstick. This is by Coop and Daisy. It's really hydrating. It has coconut water infused in it. Then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced replenishing primer. It's really, really hydrating and I accidentally put on too much. Then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Just Peachy um, primer. I actually like that. It does dry down to like a powdery matte feeling. It's really nice. It smells really good too. Then I'm gonna go in with my Lancome. I usually use about two pumps daily. Um, it's a very, it's not too loose, it's not too thick, and I like how it's really yellow, if you can tell on screen. It does offer full coverage. Two pumps does actually cover up a lot of my discoloration and hyperpigmentation and my acne scars and all that fun stuff. It really blends on well. I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer. That is really nice. Um, it's very liquidy. I'm used to actually using something like thicker than that. And I'm just using a Real Techniques uh, foundation brush to kind of buff it out under my eyes and on my nose and my chin area where I need a little bit of extra coverage and I want to highlight. I'm gonna go in with an e.l.f. brush. This is actually a blush brush, but I like it better for packing on setting powder under the eye. And I'm just using the Laura Mercier powder. That is a very finely milled powder. And I do like that it's not just stark white. It's an actual beigey kind of color to it. It does dry your face out to be super matte. So even if you put the foundation on and you're still oily, you put the concealer on and you're still oily, that powder sucks up everything. I mean everything. And I'm just gonna hit my T-zone, all the places that I normally get oily. And then I go in with a fluffier brush and I use the rest that I have in the cap and I just blend it over the rest of my face to kind of set everything and make it all look even. And scratch my hair, because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, with that, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette which looks like so. I'm gonna use a flat, fluffy Real Techniques brush, and I'm just gonna go in with one of the beige colors that were on top, and then I'm gonna go in with the yellow. I've never put yellow on without a transition color, so this is kinda scary, but it actually came out pretty nice. Um, the pigmentation's pretty good. It was a lot on the brush, which scared me, but it wasn't too much when I was blending out. I did go in with a Morphe eyeshadow brush because the Real Techniques wasn't packing on the color the way that I wanted it to. And as you can see, the Morphe brush actually, uh, it got the color on there. You can see the yellow really coming through. Then I'm just gonna use that same brush. I'm gonna switch the color with my color switch I got from Sephora and I dropped the brush in the floor. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with a orange color and I'm gonna add that right on top of the yellow not entirely on top, I, I still want the yellow to show. And I'm just gonna blend that out on both eyes, of course. From there, I'm gonna go in with another blending brush. This one's more tapered, less fluffy than the one I was using before. And I'm gonna go back in with the same orange. And I'm just going to go in and kind of add that more so to my crease. And I'm just gonna blend it out. What color do I wanna do now? I'm gonna go in with a Japanese brush. I think that's how you say it. And I'm gonna go in with this dark orange, like this burnt orange. And I think I'm gonna do a halo. Yeah, I'm doing a halo. <laughs> I'm gonna pack it in on the outer and the inner parts of my eyes and kind of blend it into the crease a little more. I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush with that orange and I did dab it with the orange and yellow and kind of blend out the edges so that I didn't lose the orange and yellow that I had before. As you can see, I'm switching the brushes so I can <laughs> blend them. And then I'm gonna go in with the really uh, deep, it's kind of like a burgundy chocolate color. And I'm going to just deepen the inner and the outer. And then I go back in, I blend it all together. 
I'm gonna use her right there. That's a really nice mixture of yellow, orange, metallic color. I did go and dry to see how it was gonna work. But with that, I realized it wasn't packing on the color as much as I want. I wanted that foiled metallic color. So I'm just gonna use some setting spray, spray it out. And then I'm gonna go back in with that dark burnt orange again, just to blend it out. And then I'm gonna go back in with the orange and the yellow and I'm gonna re-blend that back out. I just wanna make sure that I have a nice gradient so all the colors blend together smoothly. Switch it out. And now it's time for the brows. I hate doing my brows. So I'm just gonna do them off camera. I, I can never get them right. I don't know what it is with my brows. I just can't get them right. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Cabral um, <laughs> gel. I'm gonna use a Urban Decay Blackest Blackest Black Liner. I actually really like it. It's very smooth, it's very creamy, it does last long. And then we're gonna go back in with a smaller brush, a little bit of the that yellow, and I'm just gonna do the under eye. I couldn't figure out whether I wanted to smoke it out or just keep it close to the lash line. I'm not. I'm gonna go back in with the orange on top. And I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit more. And smoke her out, smoke her out. Mm-hmm, looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold highlight in the inner corner just to brighten it up just a little bit. And this is my first time using the Better Than Sex mascara. It does look a little clumpy when you take it out of the tube, but I do like how it gets from the root all the way to the very end of my lashes. Like, it covers all the lashes. Like, all the lashes. Which is why I don't wear falsies. And my, <laughs> my eyes started watering, and I hate when I do my eyes, and then they start watering and mess it up. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked with a nice fluffy Real Techniques brush, and I'm just gonna bronze up the skin. I don't typically contour every day. And then I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo. I'm just gonna use the blush this time. And I'm gonna fluff it out, <laughs> fluff it out. I'm gonna blend it out with a nice fluffy blush brush just to hit the cheeks. I didn't like that color. It was a little too subtle and it didn't pick up on camera very well. So I went in with the actual color that I have in the Naked palette. And then we're gonna go in with this Becca highlighter. This is my favorite highlighting brush from Real Techniques. And I'm gonna hit the top of the cheekbones, my nose, top of the brows, my chin area. And I'm using the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. It's the first time I used it. I'm not really a fan of using it on its own. It comes out real patchy. Um, maybe I would use it on top of an actual lipstick as like a topper. And this is the Makeup Revolution Setting Spray. If the pump wasn't working right. It would not pump anything. And I almost sprayed myself in the face. And it did spray out a lot. It does smell like chemicals. Like it smells really bad. It like got in my mouth and it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and um, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.